Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Soul here and today is what? Monday? Is it Monday already? Or Sunday? Yeah, Sunday, January 1st of 2017, guys. Happy New Year for all of you guys. First video of the year. Really happy to be here. Really happy to have you um to have you here watching my video today. I hope you had a very safe New Year's Eve and a very safe uh uh New Year's. Um so yeah, we have Dr. T Volcano Island today, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take him out with the same combo that we took Dr. T Tropical Island yesterday. That is Grenadiers and Medics. I did a video of uh, Grenadiers and Medics on how to take down PVP bases. The link is gonna be up there on the right side right now, popping up. So make sure you check them out. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, check what we did on Dr. T today. All right, so let's, let's take a look. So on stage, so uh, overall, you know, it was pretty pretty good. You can see I failed. Um, I did a a fail attack here essentially because uh, actually it happened twice. I was on my room and I don't have pretty good Wi-Fi coverage, and I disconnected twice. And then I time out on the on the last one. It was it was horrible. Like it had like a little sliver. I modified my approach and I made it. You know, I managed to do it. So there's no boost. This is my base boost. On, on with grenadiers you know with my troops so stage one i'm gonna speed it up because there's no real reason to just dwell on this stage i mean pretty easy i just drop my grenadiers all over the place um and just let them wreck now you have to take into consideration that grenadiers do arrange cannons however if they if you have a group of more than three to uh, more than three so say four five or six engaging a cannon from one specific angle they're not gonna range they're gonna push themselves into the range and the cannon is gonna kill them and you're gonna see that happen on i think stage four i messed up and and that ended up happening um so yeah you have to you have to be mindful of that the same thing with machine guns so machine guns and cannons have about the same range so um although machine guns are not that dangerous for for grenadier medic combinations so pretty easy stage one. Uh, let's take a look at stage two. Again, pretty easy to, um, I did sort of the same thing. I dropped all my troops on one corner. There's lots of tree GBE. Even if you're not using Grenadiers, if you're using say Hookah or, or Rifleman, there's enough GBE that you can collect to counter whatever counters your troops. Um, that's my advice always, counter what counter your troops, cannons for cannons and boom cannon for your heavy suka, um, flamethrowers and machine guns and mortars depending on the positioning for riflemen. Um, if you're using medics, I mean at that stage is really not a an important factor. Let me speed this up again, there's no real reason to dwell on this one. I went on the right side and then went up and then went, went on the HQ, I dropped a bunch of critters and they just destroyed the entire thing. Let's get to the interesting parts quickly. Um, stage two, let's take a look at stage three. All right, so here again, there's lots and lots and lots of GBE that you can collect. Um, the last time, the last video I did on this one, we're still repeating this in Dr. T. Um, I went on the right side. Uh, on this one, I'm going through the center. Um, I guess, you know, Supercell actually tried to activate a change for this uh, on the 30th, maybe on the 31st. And that didn't work very well. They, they had issues. Actually, it was on the 30th. Um, people that were on the 31st were reporting they could not scout or hit Dr. T. So my guess is that they had to actually revert the changes back to the previous version because um, they didn't want to have to deal with it, you know, over the New Year's um, holiday period. So you see the Grenadiers just wrecked that entire center. I dropped a bunch of critters on the right side. I didn't realize that there were so many critters. Otherwise, I wouldn't have flared that way. Um, and then from here, I, I just keep having fun. Um, I like Grenadiers the way they deal, so I, I was just going for destroying everything on the base. And I don't know if I ended up, if, if it was here that my mistake led me to losing a troop. I'm not completely sure. No, it wasn't here. It was on, I think it was then on the next one. You know, the good thing about the Grenadiers is that you destroy so many buildings that you end up with so much GB. So you have to be really careful on how you use it. You don't want to be using it all on artillery and barrages because it really becomes ineffective. You know, you might want to uh, switch it up with critters, with shocking stuff. So I wonder if it was here where I lost. No, I, I, it couldn't have been here. So here, again, drop all my troops on the left side, gather that GB on the front. Um, we're going to have some GB on the top right, on the top left corner. 
I don't think I actually actively go for it. Um, I, send, I do send critters. Uh, what I'm being actively is I don't send my troops out there to go and kill it. Um, all these machine guns, all those frame towers, all those cannons, you see, I'm not going to reflare them. I'm not going to refocus them. I'm going to let them spread out so that when, if they do get to the range of that cannon, if they do get to the range of that cannon uh, without having it destroyed first, which seems that they're going to, they did destroy it, um, then they're not going to be all pumped up so that they push each other um, onto the range of that onto that cannon, which is a, a big no-no. You don't want that to happen. So here you see me progressing on that side. Um, just keep clearing out. Ahead of time, I'm destroying that boom cannon and that shot launcher. I don't want them to even have a hint uh, of my of my troops. I think that shot launcher fires a couple times. Not a big deal. Uh, but it gets destroyed by the oversplash of the, of the remainder in Grenadiers. Um, and then it's just a matter of, of finishing this base. This base was really easy for 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 the Grenadier medic combo. Um, oh, here it is. I lost I, here. I lost a medic and I lost a warrior due to that freaking cannon on that corner. You see, you see how I, I was sending smoke before. You know the Reapers are messed up, uh, but I didn't see that cannon, so I ended up losing a, a Grenadier here just to that silly cannon. So stage four, let's take a look at stage five. All right, so on stage five, um, it, I think what I, okay, yes. On stage five, so I drop all my troops here on the, <clears throat> the left side, let them collect all the GBE. You see me targeting the, the boom cannons because that's again, that's what can counter my troops. I don't like dealing with them. If I, if I can avoid it, I will. So uh, one artillery and one um, barrage on each was sufficient. I'm gonna keep collecting some of the GBE, for, some of the GBE that I have here, um, until these guys come into the range of the of the boom cannon. I didn't want to deal with that, so I flirt them to the bottom, and now I'm gonna engage the base on the right side. Um, I don't, you know, in general sense, you don't need to do what I did, um, mainly because the, the approach here on the right side is really easy and open. I just like destroying stuff with the grenadiers. Um, that, that's that's pretty much it. So from here, you see, I flare into the corner to cut them into a little group, and then I stop them here, because here I have a nice set of machine guns where I can destroy most of those mines if the oversplash from killing these two flying towers and machine guns did not, um, did not finally destroy them, which it didn't. So now it's just a matter of letting them throw and overthrow and clear some of the, those mines. Not that I need to go into that position because I'm going to end up approaching the headquarter from the four, three and a half to four o'clock position. Let me accelerate this. You know, with your net ears, the main thing that you want to avoid is, you know, you have to make sure that you look at the HP of the base you're doing because you don't want to be like on the la later stages. You don't want to be lollygagging around and doing crazy stuff. You want to Stay focused because the damage output of Grenadier, especially when they're not boosted for for damage, it's it's pretty low. So it's gonna take you the full you know three and a half four minutes that it takes for a match to complete to actually take down the base. And you see, I started attacking this HQ at 50 seconds. And it took me a full 50 seconds to take down this base down completely. And at the end, I was a little bit worried, but I forgot. Oh wait, I do have some GBE, I think. So I think I ended up throwing it. Uh, no, I did not end up throwing it, but um, one thing is remember their accuracy increases with the uh, with the it's inversely inversely proportional to the distance that which are throwing. Which means the farther away you are, the less accurate they are, the less damage they do to the to the target um, per per throw. So you want to flare them really close to to your target if you want them to do maximum amount of damage in the least amount of time. Now stage six was easy potatoes um, for for grenadiers. Uh, you just have to take care of that. Uh, Take care of the boom cannon, like I did here. Take care of this boom cannon, take care of that boom cannon, and then everything else is going to be all right. Um, two artilleries were enough to take care of them. Um, of those in the in the center, one barrage and one... No, one barrage was enough to clear everything else. Now I'm going to land my troops here on the lower left side. Just let them cause general havoc um, on this area.
you see oversplash take you know um, taking some of the containers on the on the right side of those defenses I'm still gonna let them spread out um, I have no reason or concern that I'm gonna fill this due to time I check the health the distance that I have to run is really short um, however the more uh, UV I can get the more stuff I can use with artillery I don't use it explicitly with artillery um, Mainly, like I said, because I like them destroying stuff. I think I use most of my GBE for shocks. Now here I'm, I'm smoking my troops in, mainly because I want them to, to all throw a single barrage or a single salvo of grenades to see if I can clear most of those mines here on the back in one shot. So let's see if that ends up working. Nope, I mean, it, it, I didn't end up clearing the mines, so I had to throw some critters in. Um, the clearers did end up clearing the mines and now it's just a matter of letting them you know run free on this area now do do be careful with the sniper tower sniper tower as you saw from yesterday video on dr t they're deadly to 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 grenadiers especially the max level ones this ones were what level 12 level 16 so so not that horrible you can see they take about 20 percent on on one single shot my medic can actually out heal them really really quickly Especially because I have three boats. Yesterday I have only two boats of medics. Today I have three boats of medics, which I find, in general sense, it's a little bit better um, countering those, you know, uh, massive splash damage and and the single shot defenses of the sniper tower. Now from here, I mean, the, this stage is done. You know, just let the grenadiers run um, while on this corner, and you're gonna be you're gonna be good. You see, again, it takes so much, so much time for the Grenadiers to take on that HQ. Um, so be careful with the time. I think I, I, I'm gonna show you the fail on the, on stage seven. You know what what I ended up doing. I'm gonna do it at four X. So the general strategy is, uh, you know, land your troops first. You want to land your troops first because it's gonna take your time. You know, there's nothing that can harm or harm you. So land your troops, do whatever. So you see, I'm destroying this boom cannon, that shock launcher, and this other boom cannon right here. On high side, I should have not maybe destroyed this shock launcher because that shock launcher um, took a little bit of time for me, right? It was shocking my troops. Um, I was low on destroying this, um, but I, I still, you know, on the second attempt, I still did. I still did that. Let me put this in 4x. Now from here, that cannon shot me three times or two times he killed two grenadiers um so don't don't let that cannon do that to you <laughs> um and then i mean here you just stand there and just wreck on this base wreck on this base um and my problem here was that i wasn't very focused on what i needed to be doing i wasted a lot of gbe trying to clear stuff here not thinking that uh, it was it was gonna be that it was gonna be easy right so um, w one thing that you can see is that um, I lost a few grenadiers due to the combination of rocket launchers and mortars. So that in part contributed to the fact that I failed on this attempt. Um, the HP was a lot less than it was shown here. The HP that, that I ended up having was a little sliver, less than less than half a millimeter width um, when you were totally, you know, completely zooming. Now let me show you the final attempt, which was successful. You know, with 20 troops, I did not end up losing a single one. Um, I knew what it needed to do due to the previous fail. I knew I knew that I had the GBE. So again, land my troops first. One artillery on on the shock launcher, one artillery on the boom cannon, and one barrage on each. Now I do the same thing with the other boom cannon, one artillery and one barrage. And that takes care of it. Now I need to be quick. Um, I have, you know, the, the shock launcher is targeting about 60% of my troops. The other, the other group is actually firing constantly, but that that doesn't matter. They managed to kill the both uh, mortars, and the shock launcher is gonna fall very, very soon. It takes me about what 40 seconds to get out of the, of this side of the beach. Um, I mean, if you have extra GBE, you can probably do it better. But now from here, let me pause this and go normal speed. Now from here, um, this could have been done a little bit better if you had parked your troops on the actual corner so that the splash of one would hit the other one. 
but it ended up being good. Um, that's the only that this is the only place I end up using shocks, and it's a good it's 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 a good way to use the shocks at least in the approach that I took because I cannot I was not able to kill that um, cannon in one in in the ten seconds it takes for a shock to expire. Now I park here because that way my sukas do not have to, my sukas my grenadiers do not have to move after they finish up this machine gun. You can see the replay is actually showing I lost a grenadier here, two grenadiers here, which is not true. You saw from the replay that that I did not lose a grenadier. Um, I, the replays are messed up, man. That's that's crazy. So I did not lose a single trip on this attack. However, this replay does show I lost two. Um, however, I don't think it's, it, it changes the fact that this is the approach I took. Those are the third points that I ended up doing. I think I talked about it on my yesterday's Dr. T video. But I think what happens is it is not a, a, a deterministic replay. It's based on on, on a series of, 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 of points. And then the replay actually plays from those points. So you may have different outcomes each time you do a replay um, based on the input, on similar input conditions. So now here you see me just you know, targeting the core. Based on what's what happening, I'm gonna predict that the replay is either gonna fail or that the replay is gonna show that I did not destroy the HQ. In any case, let's see what happens. Um, the grenadiers are already, in, are already in the core. I frame them, I flare them close so that their accuracy increases. Um, you see, some of them are actually throwing grenades towards the mortar. I, I don't think that was the actual case. Those mortars were already long and gone by the time I, I flared to the to the core. So I had some GBE left. I knew it was going to be close, so I sent everything I had to it. And yeah, based on this, on where it is right now, I'm going to say it didn't. The replay is not going to show I destroyed the HQ. Yeah, and I was right. So the replay showing that I did not destroy the HQ, but as you can see, the actual summary does show that I destroyed the HQ. So guys, that's it. That's how I took on Dr. T today with Grenadiers and Medics. It's a very, very good combination for, for pretty much every base that you have. Like I said, if a base is strong against Grenadiers and Medics, it's weak against something else. So don't be afraid to change you know, your troops if you don't want to have losses. Um, I, I don't care about losses, so I just go in and if I lose, I lose. I have to change troops either way, so why why waste the time, right? Um, goal for me is not, not an issue. In any case, guys, thanks for stopping by and checking my video. Um, click that subscribe button and that like button if you can. There's going to be a couple of videos popping on the left and on the right. Remember that new video that I posted that I'm going to show you about the uh, about Grenadiers and Medics um, attacking PvP bases. It's going to be right below my subscription button. In any case, guys, thanks for stopping and solid checking out.